Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago, whatever, um, you guys put out a, I put out a video for you guys to comment on, asked you to comment your favorite pattern. And one of them that somebody commented, I think only one guy commented, it was Gill Candy. And I had to look it up because I'd never heard of it. And when I looked it up, it was a wet fly, so it automatically caught my attention. And uh, he uses his as an attractor pattern um, from the research I've done on it they do a lot of panfish with it and you know sunfish and stuff like that with ponds and it's just a good attractor fly it's gonna catch the fish's attention I'm gonna swing it this year I'll have it on my as my attractor fly just to try something different and uh, it's just a generic pattern doesn't imitate anything but I'm sure it's gonna catch fish I'm, some flies, you just look at them, you know they're going to be fishy. And one of the guys suggested it, so I thought I would tie it. So uh, here it is, the gill candy. It's a very cool, easy little fly. And um, from the research I found, the guys are tying it big and small. So, uh, you know, you get in a pond, you're going after sunfish, you want something a little bit bigger, tie it bigger, and uh, fish it in the river. I'm going to fish it for trout. I'm tying it small so I can swing it in a tandem rig uh, is one of my wet flies on my tandem rig so I want it a little bit smaller for trout but also I'm using the glow bright thread I'm using it in chartreuse on this fly but do not be afraid to try pinks and oranges and different things especially on the sulfur hatch try an orange on the sulfur hatch you know it might be an easy one works great for it so anyway thanks for watching guys here it is here's the fly a picture of it and the material list to tie All right, here we see the fly in the vise. Let's get into tying it. It's a cool little fly, cool little wet fly, and it'll be a great attractor fly. For a hook, I am using a Firehole 633 in size 16. Um, the research I found on this fly, on the gill candy, is the guys are tying it big for panfish and ponds and stuff like that. So tie it 12, 16, 18, whatever size you want to tie it. It's just an easy one to tie. So let's get into tying it. First thing I'm going to put on is some Glowbrite. And the shade of this is number 11, the Chartreuse. And I'm just going to start out by wrapping it back over itself. Try not to build up too much body here. And we're going to trim that off. And then I'm going to take some Vivas. Um, this is gold tinsel, the small. And I'm just going to take a chunk of this off. You know, I'll tie a couple flies with this chunk, but I'm just going to tie it down and tie it back towards the bend here. Oops, missed it. Yeah, there we go. All right, now I'm going to tie it right back towards the bend. Trim this front end off. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to make a couple wraps backwards, about three or four. I want to just create a nice little gold butt here. There you go. And then I'm going to wrap back towards that chartreuse thread. Okay, now we're just going to come back and tie that off. And then we're just going to trim it. Now the next thing I want to do is I just want to smooth out this body and keep it as thin as possible. And just wrap that forward. All right, and then I'm going to tie this off. I just wanted to get this nice chartreuse color on there. And you can use the other glow break colors. This would also be great in pink and orange. You know, this is an attractor fly, that's what we're using it as. And uh, so, use whatever color you want. Experiment, play around. Now I'm just going to put on some 70 denier um, fluorescent chartreuse. 
And then I'm going to add just a little bit of Green Caddis SLF Prism. And I mean just a little bit. This is just building up a collar here. Just a nice little collar to help our dubbing stand up. So we're just going to dub that on there. Make a nice little ball with it. And then come up here. Now I'm going to take a really small partridge feather since this is a size 16. And get one of these small ones off the right up by the head here. And I'm just going to peel back the fluff on the bottom. And then I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So I'm just going to spin around in my hand, grab those tips, hold on to them, and tie down by the tips. All right, now you got to be kind of soft with this because it's a really small feather and it's really soft. So if you pull too hard, you're going to break it. Now with the feather shaft there, we're just going to clamp onto it with my hackle pliers. And like I said, you have to be really soft with it. So I'm just going to unwind that. Take that out of there. And I'm just going to trap a couple of these fibers down. And start over again. Alright. And I'm just going to softly peel them backwards so they all, as we palmer our hackle, they all go backwards. And just make about two wraps with it here. And then tie it off. And here you go. It's a great little pattern. And like I said, this is going to be a, an awesome little attractor pattern. And now we're just going to make a nice little head. Don't make too big of a head because you don't want to overpower your fly. You're tying a this here is a size 16, so you want your head to be small. You want it to be proportionate. And there we go. Break my thread, I'm in. Put one little small whip finish on there again. Just to be safe. Okay. There you go, gill candy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that simple little wet fly. Like I said, this was one of the patterns that was suggested in my comment from my dear hair caddis. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos that were suggested in that dear hair caddis. Some of them are ones that I should have done already. Um, like a gold ribbed hair gear. I don't have a gold ribbed hair gear. So sooner or later, I'm going to have a gold ribbed hair gear video. And uh, thanks for commenting those flies I got like hundred and fifty of them it was great that was exactly what I wanted and I really appreciate it so it got gave me some new ideas gave me things to mess around with and uh, if if you get a chance go to my dear hair caddis pattern with the Swiss CDC clamp go down in the description and see what everybody commented and there's a ton of flies on there you know it was fun for me as people were commenting. I'm going on and looking up on Google what some of the flies are because I didn't know what some of them were. And there were some really cool patterns that I just learned from this. So I thank you all for doing it. And I suggest you go look at the comments because there's some there that you might look at and say, man, that's something I need in my box. It's what happened to me. So, And uh, this was one of those flies. So thanks for watching, guys. Material list, you can find it down in the description there. And uh, you can find everything at HolsingerSlyShop.com. So until next week, I'm Sean Holsinger.